Yes guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the most meta 200k squad builder on FIFA 21. However, before the video does start, be sure to like the video, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe if you are new. I do record these videos live on Twitch, link in the description and on the screen now, www.twitch.tv forward slash LisaManley15. So let's get into the video. So... In goal, I've stated that goalkeepers this year, they're all bad. They all make stupid mistakes, but it happens in real life as well. So in goal, we have Nick Pope. Uh, for me, he actually is kind of like top two in this year, uh, in this FIFA. Um, for the rating he is, he's I, th he's I think he's superb, to be honest with you. I mean, he's, he's tall. Um, his stats don't actually look that good if you compare it to like, you know, Courtois or something like that. But he just is really really good i mean obviously from stats wise you look at the 80 so you'd look at uh, handling reflexes and positioning but because he's so tall he's six foot seven so he's just so good on 1v1s he literally saved everything i think he's probably the worst goalkeeper that i've come up against this year um but for me my favorite goalkeeper is personally uh, van der sar but for the coin value you're paying for him he's just superb at right back we are going to go with Semedo. the most used right back this year is Semedo. We all know why he's like the best to use. Mainly pros use him because of the links to Ronaldo. Um, however, you know, he's just... Even if you're not using him for links to Ronaldo, if you haven't got much coins, obviously this is a 200k squad, so you probably haven't. But, you know, he's just... With a shadow card, he's obviously... I think he's like 99 pace, to be honest with you. But yeah, you know, 92 pace if you haven't got a shadow card in him. 82 dribbling. You know, it's just what you need, really. I mean, dribbling not as much unless you're, def unless you're going forward with the defenders. But pace... You know, at pace like that, you're stopping players like Neymar and Rashford if you've got Rashford on that side. So, yeah. Um, at right centre-back, the most used centre-back this year, I'm pretty sure, other than, other than Varane. But obviously, for this coin value, he's in a lot more teams than Varane because Varane's worth this whole team, if I'm not mistaken. Or oh, I used the wrong person. Um, but, yeah, he's worth, like... I think he's literally, like, 30,000 coins now, which is ridiculous. I remember when he was, I think he was, like, 100k, I think, but at the start of the year. So, he has dropped quite a lot. And for me, he's played... I think 400 and something, yeah, 402. But I did just recently get him on tradable, so 402 games is kind of mad. I think I've had him for about 600 in total. He's just crazy. Um, at left centre back, we're gonna go obviously as it's a cheap team. You can't really have like likes of a ran to be honest with you. So we're gonna go with someone that I think was about 30,000 coins at the start of the game. Um, we're gonna go with Hernandez, 82 Hernandez. Um, here he is, Lucas Hernandez. He's overall like. Like I said, for the coins he is as well. You know, he's fast, which is what you need in the defender to catch up with the fast players on the game. Rashford, Mbappe, Neymar, um, Ronaldo. You know, he's got, you know, he's fast. He's got good defending. All right, physical. So that's what you need in the defender. And he's six foot. He's not the tallest centre-back, but at six foot, you can still win headers. I mean, Cannavaro is quite small as well, and he's really good this year. At left back, it's a strong link to Hernandez. Um... Other than Mendy, probably the most used left back this year. Yet again, because he's just got so much pace. Catches up to the um, the good players uh, on this game. And I think he actually has a YouTube channel as well. It's pretty good content, that YouTube channel. I think it's with his girlfriend, but if you didn't know. But yeah, obviously that's a bit off subject. But yeah, just saying. Uh, he's um, overall, he's, he's obviously, like I said, pacey. Got good dribbling if you'd like to go forward. Four star, four star, 5'11". Not the tallest, but my Mendy wins loads of headers. Not that he's Mendy, but you know my my Mendy wins so many headers, and I'm pretty sure he's about six foot, so he will still win headers for you. So yeah, we're just gonna change the formation quickly as well. Right at left CDM, we're gonna go with Goretzka. Um, yeah, he's a very good card this year. I can't say I've personally used him myself, but overall he's a solid card. His informs even better if you can afford that. But as this is only a 200k team, you probably can't unless you've got a little few coin spare. But yeah, um, I mean, Goretzko is six foot two, so he's good enough to win headers, defensive headers, and attacking headers as well. Uh, he's he's fast, which is what you need in the CDM. Four star weak foot means you can use left foot and right foot if you're trying to switch the ball, and that's quite important this year. Uh, having good weak foot if you're trying to use your weak foot to pass the ball, because otherwise it will go to the other team and they'll counter attack you. Uh, he's got good shooting for a CDM as well. Actually, he's more of a centre mid really, but obviously we're going to play him in CDM. Um, but yeah, he's got good physical, which means he can barge players off the ball. Good dribbling, so he can go forward and good passing, like I've stated. Um, the centre mid spot, we're going to go Hazer. So obviously he's an attacker, but we're going to put him in centre mid for the purpose of chemistry reasons. Um, personally, Hazer obviously is just, you know, he's 
he's cheap. Um, obviously, I think he was literally about 50,000 coins at the start of the game, which, mean, which shows you that he's actually a good card and OP. Obviously, he's got good pace, good shooting, good dribbling, which is what you want for an attacker. Four-star skill moves, which is decent. Uh, Three-star weak foot, which isn't the best, but he'll still be able to score probably three out of five shots on his weak foot, which is still good enough, I say. Um, and you're not going to get the, the top of the best with the coins. Obviously, there's a few players in this team that are just amazing and outstanding, you, you know, but overall with these, this coin value you're not going to get the best but I mean, we obviously got like the three most used players this year which is Semedo, Pope and Gomez. Anyway, at right CDM we have Firmino, he's recently got a um, I think it's a freeze card, I think that's what you call it. Uh, he's like 900k which I think is ridiculous but a lot of uh, a lot of people that I know actually have done him and he seems really good but I don't really see the point when you've got like team of the year around the corner and stuff like that not that he's going to get one but you know what I mean I, you, I feel like you can get better players for 900k that's tradable and you can sell them on but for me no I do have him on my RTG account he does play uh, lamb or left cam uh, in a 4-2-2-2 and he's, he scores a lot of goals for me he's amazing to be honest with you um, you know put a hunter on him and he's, and he's really good uh, obviously he's got 5 star skill moves which is amazing as you know I love personally skill moves this year um, he's got good weak foot um, really good dribbling which is why I use him on the left side I could use him up front but up front, but I've got Dembele there and he's obviously 5 star 5 star and literally scores everything so he's on the left hand side for me but yeah um, obviously good, a decent pace uh, really good shooting and good passing so Solid, solid player. At right, well, right side, it's going to be someone off chem. We all know who it's going to be. The main man, Marcus Rashford. Rashford this year is, he's just so, so good. I mean, he scores on his left, he scores on his right. Um, anywhere you play him is good. Striker, right wing, left wing. He's just everywhere, really. Obviously, he's got, like I said, five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot scores on both left and right. Five-star, obviously, skill moves is important if you like the skill. Um... Good pace, good dribbling, um, and obviously amazing shooting. Up on the left-hand side, Son. Um, it's an interesting one, really. Son is very good this year, but he, he doesn't seem to be a lot of money, which is interesting. I remember last year, I think it was last year, the year before he got POT, I and mean, it was so expensive. I mean, I know he's got one this year, but, um, you know, it's crazy that he actually isn't that much. Um, I'm just going to check how much he is. He's 36,000 coins for an 87. I'm pretty sure almost 87 are going for that, so you'd probably expect him to go... For me, personally, if I didn't actually know that he was this cheap, I'd probably guess about... 80,000 coins and obviously he's a good card as well I mean he's got good pace very good shooting very good dribbling and very good passing or decent passing I mean maybe what lacks is his physical maybe because he's only got 69 physical but overall you know I had St. Maximum I don't think his no not St. Maximum who did I have that was I can't remember who it was but I had someone that was I think it was Gorinchka I can never say his name right so don't this but he um He's, I'm pretty sure his physical's really, really poor, and he's still, like, when you do the running fake shot, um, he, he still goes, like, through players, so, and he still does win the ball off in battles, so I don't really think that really matters, but obviously he's five-star weak for four-star skill moves, which is very good, um, I don't know why he stepped upon too much, if you do know, let me know in the comments. Um, at striker, we do have Zizoko, he is just... In my opinion, on the game, he actually is better than uh, Pogba, if I'm not... I know, I'm a United fan, by the way, as you can probably see with what I'm wearing, but, um... On the game anyway, he's just he's not he doesn't feel clunky like Pogba. I mean, you know, Suzuko even my cousin likes Suzuko. I mean he 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 bought Blanc and he prefers him over Blanc. So I mean he's he's just you know he's got a really good physical, which is good to barge with players, good to win the ball. Uh, he's really fast, uh, especially if you put you know a shadow on him. He can uh, get back, especially if you're someone like LTs a lot to jockey. Uh, you know, you you know you hold an LT, you know your players just you know go from side to side really quickly. And obviously, when you're fast, it helps. I guess a little bit more. Uh, you've got good defending and obviously good dribbling if you want to go forward. Any six foot two, which is what you need in a CDM to win headers, defensive headers, and also score headers going forward. Um, but this is the team. Um, I mean, in terms of where you place p people, it's up to you. I mean, if you're going four two two two, you could go. Um, uh, well, you could do. You, there's so many players in this team that you could use, but obviously at CDMs you can use Zoko and Goretzka. Uh, I mean, Hazus is obviously up top, but it just depends who you want to go with. You could go with um, Hazus and Firmino, and then obviously Son and Rashford on the wing, or you can go um, Hazus and Rashford, and then um, him on the on the left and Son on the right, just like I do in my team. Obviously, in terms of Firmino, it's just it's completely up to you. But anyway, if this video did help, please be sure to like the video, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe if you are new. If you got this far into the video, I really do appreciate you watching thank you very much peace